Uh, good morning, everybody. Today we'll talk about a new topic, which how to look for a coiled coil region in uh, a protein structure. So first we have to know what is a coiled coil region. So coiled coil region are uh, are a portion of protein formed by interwining of two or three alpha helixes. So do you, we all know the difference between uh, alpha helix and beta sheet, uh, and these are uh, features of the secondary structure of protein. So uh, when uh, there is two alpha helix that interwining with each other or, or three alpha helixes, in this case, this form uh, a portion of a protein that's called uh, uh, the coiled coil region. Cold core region, uh, one reason that considered uh, it's, it's very important region that it, it's really uh, play, uh, this region uh, it play a very good role, an important role in protein-protein interaction. So that's why we should uh, take a look uh, at this region and try to find if our protein have uh, such such a region to know that if this protein, for example, have uh, a protein-protein interaction or not. So uh, this typically uh, a kind of search that we try to look for in such kind of proteins. Uh, of course, protein-protein interaction means that the first protein we we can call it a promoter a protomer one, and the second is protomer two. So the part that have this interaction, uh, uh, this always, uh, as we said before, this is the coiled coiled regions, and uh, we can call this as as we can show how its interface. So. Uh, we also can search for this, try to find this by, by informatics because also uh, there is another reason which uh, that coil coil region, uh, coil coil region uh, in the protein can give also a false matches when you do a database search and it can be a good to filter them out as we can see uh, that usually these parts of the protein give a false matches as we can see uh, from that figure. Anyway, so how we can find the the this region in our protein? How we can find it and try to filter them out, out or how we can discover it? Simply, uh, there is some program that can do this. One of them is, are called Coil, and this program Coils uh, you can find them uh, in the CH Impinet uh, website. And here's the link. It's, you can find. It. So it's simply, even you can find it also in XPASI. If you if you familiar with it was XPASI, you can find the, uh, this program there also. So coils is a, a prediction of this this uh, program can help you uh, in the prediction of coil core region in your protein uh, uh, because it's it's compared a sequence to a database of known uh, parallel two stranded coil coils and drives a similarity score as we can see. Uh, by comparing this score to a uh, distribution of scores, of course, in globular and cold coil uh, proteins. Uh, this, the, the program then calculates the probability, as we can, we'll see also, uh, the uh, uh, that the sequence will adapt a cold coil formation. Calls as, oh, and this, of course, was described in, in the paper uh, Lupus et al. 1991. Uh, here is a this is the interface of the program. Simply, you can just copy your sequence in a fast format, and you or just in a plain text, and uh, you can just copy it or paste it uh, in in this submission box. So and uh, and then just run a coil. You can there is of course there is a choice for matrix. You can choose the first matrix or the second matrix, but I usually prefer the first. And then put you put your uh, protein sequence here. And uh, of course, in, the, in, in the plain text, and then run coil. Simply, you get uh, the result, and you can see where exactly the part of your protein that can be predicted that it have a, a, a portion of a cold coil, or can be expected to be a cold coil uh, region. And there is a threshold, of course. Uh, this threshold can. Uh, tell you uh, which part can, is really significant and other part which is not really uh, significant. There is another program called Coil Coil Prediction, and this is in another database. This program uh, named uh, Coil Coil Prediction. Also, this program you can find the link in the XPASI website. Uh, 
you can just put your uh, sequence here in a raw format or FASA format and then uh, submit and it will also give you a similar shape that can predict which part of your protein I expect to have into a coil coil uh, 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 coil coil uh, uh, region uh, I hope this uh, small video can help you uh, in discovering uh, coil coil region and, and if you sure that uh, your uh, protein uh, are interacting with other protein so in this case uh, you have to uh, try to find which part of your uh, primary sequence uh, is uh, going to form a coil coil region uh, and uh, do this interaction I hope this video was uh, helpful for you and uh, in the future we will go to another videos and more and more video to discover more and more about our sequence in bioinformatics. Thank you very much and um, hope to see you in other with other videos. Goodbye.